In today's cartoon story joke, buckle up for a high-rise homicide. A jealous husband gets the shock of his life, leading to a chain reaction of chaos that will leave you hanging, literally. But fear not, there's a laugh, or two, or ten, to be found in this story that takes a hilarious nosedive from suspicion to the pearly gates. There was a businessman, let's call him Harold, who was sure that his wife, Beatrice, was cheating on him, so he put her under surveillance. One day at work, he got a call that told him to rush home quickly and he would be able to catch her in the act. So, he rushed home to his 20th floor high-rise apartment and burst into the room. His wife was there, but he didn't see anyone else. Where is he, huh? Where is who? Harold, fueled by a jealous rage that would make a bull see red, tore through the apartment like a hurricane searching for a misplaced sock. First, he flung open the bedroom door, expecting to find a scene straight out of a romance novel. Instead, he was greeted by the serene side of his wife curled up on the chaise longue, reading a book about the mating habits of the Patagonian Mara. Disappointment clawed at him, but his suspicion remained undeterred. He lunged towards the bed, yanking the covers back with enough force to launch a dust bunny into orbit. Nothing. Next, he dropped to his knees and peered under the bed, squinting into the shadowy abyss. All he found was a rogue sock and a colony of dust mites having a rave. Frustration bubbled over, turning his face a shade of purple that would make Barney the dinosaur jealous. Where are you hiding him, Beatrice? In the closet with your skeletons? He flung open every closet door with a flourish, expecting to find a secret room or a hidden passage. Instead, he was met with a disorganized collection of clothes, mismatched shoes, and a moth infestation that would make a fashion designer weep. Just as Harold was about to admit defeat, a faint sound reached his ears. It was a muffled whimper, like a cornered rodent, coming from the balcony. With renewed vigor, Harold stormed out onto the balcony, ready to confront his wife's supposed paramour. But the sight that greeted him wasn't what he expected. There, dangling precariously from the railing, his fingers desperately gripping the metal, was a man in a bright orange jazzer-sized leotard. Harold's jaw dropped faster than a mime impersonating a skydiver. Uh, what in the world are you doing? Help! I was just doing my jazzer-sized routine and, well, I kind of lost my balance. Harold blinked, processing this bizarre turn of events. Here he was, expecting to catch his wife cheating, and instead, he found a man clinging to his balcony for dear life, dressed like a creamsicle gone wrong. His initial rage morphed into a kind of bewildered amusement. Right, because Jazzercise is known for its balcony balancing exercises. Are you sure you're not here for something else, like delivering surprise flowers to my wife? Dude, I wouldn't even know your wife if she walked past me wearing a neon sign that said free hugs. Just please help me up. So, Harold decided that is time to learn this man a lesson, so he went to go and get a hammer. He then began hitting the man's fingers and watched triumphantly as the man fell 20 stories. But to his dismay, the man fell into a bush. Although badly injured, he wasn't dead. The businessman was livid. He went into his kitchen and rolled his refrigerator out to the balcony. He heaved it over the edge and watched with glee as the refrigerator landed on the injured man, killing him. The businessman started to laugh, but mid-laugh grabbed his chest and died from a massive heart attack. The businessman found himself in line before the pearly gates. St. Peter was there, and it was clear that there was a delay. St. Peter said, I'm sorry, but heaven is full today. We're only letting in folks who have died in a very stressful way. Well, I died today, full of stress. Really, do tell. So, the businessman related the above story. St. Peter was swayed. Really, do tell. The next guy in line stepped up. St. Peter told him the same thing. Did you die in a stressful way? Did I? And how? 
I was doing my jazzercise tape in my living room on the 21st floor of my high-rise apartment when I kind of lost track of where I was. I accidentally fell off my balcony and was plummeting to my sure death, when miraculously, I was able to grab onto the balcony below mine. I was hanging on but just barely when a man came out. Thank God I thought, I'm saved. But to my horror, he started stomping on my fingers. It hurt terribly, but I was able to hang on. Just when I thought I couldn't take it anymore, he stopped and went back inside. Thank God, I thought. But just then, he comes back out with a hammer and starts to hammer my fingers. Well, I had to let go, and I fell into a bush. Although badly injured, I was still alive, and I was just about to yell for help when I looked up just in time to see a refrigerator heading right for me. And the next thing I know, I'm here. St. Peter's mouth was hanging open. All he could do was gesture the man inside and whisper, Go on, in. After a few moments to collect himself, St. Peter said, Next. The next guy steps up and after being told the condition for entry, St. Peter asks, Did you die stressfully? Yes, I did. And here's my story. I was hiding in this refrigerator from a very mad husband and... <laughs> If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.